Equality, diversity and inclusion in the workplace. When we think about the topic of equality, diversity and inclusion, we sometimes think of the Equality Act 2010. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. The nine protected characteristics are very important in identifying what is protected by law. But what about our behaviours at work? So let's take a closer look at this topic. Equality means each individual or group of people is given the same resources or opportunities. In the UK, the Equality Act 2010 safeguards those with protected characteristics from discrimination in the workplace. Equity, on the other hand, recognises that each person has different circumstances and allocates the exact resources and opportunities needed to reach an equal outcome. An equity approach emphasises that everyone should not be treated the same, but according to their own needs. Diversity is to respect and enjoy a wide range of cultural and individual differences, thereby including everyone. Diversity goes beyond recognising that we are different in measurable ways. Diversity is inclusion. And inclusion at work reflects an environment where all individuals are treated fairly and with respect, regardless of their background, identity or circumstance, having equal access to opportunities and resources which allow them to contribute to the organisation's success. The idea behind the iceberg model is that culture is pictured as an iceberg. Only a very small proportion of the iceberg is visible above the waterline. The tip of the iceberg is in fact supported by a much larger, although invisible, part underneath the water. This part of the iceberg is its foundation. Above the waterline, examples of visible parts include food, style of dress, music and language. But the powerful dimensions of culture are the more difficult to spot. The social norms, the values, the basic assumptions about space and time, and the concept of justice and of self. The iceberg model of culture implies that the visible parts of culture are just expressions of the invisible parts. It highlights the difficulty of understanding people from different cultural backgrounds, because although we see what's above the waterline, we cannot immediately realise what the foundations are. Unconscious bias is implicit preference. It refers to a bias which we're unaware of and which happens outside of our control. It is a bias that happens automatically and is triggered by our brain making a quick judgement and assessment of people and situations. It is influenced by our socialisation, background, cultural environment and personal experiences. It may be responsible for negative assumptions and unwitting discrimination against people who may be considered different and do not share the same values, background and culture as ours. When we embrace organisational equality, diversity and inclusion, there are huge benefits for all of us. Increased productivity, a rise in creativity, more innovation, fast problem solving, and better decision making. So we all have a duty to foster and embrace equality, diversity and inclusion. Let's get started.